how to set up the Somno Touch Home Sleep Study Kit with camera. Hello and welcome to our Home Sleep Study Instruction video. After attending your collection outpatient appointment, you should have a box containing all the equipment you will need to carry out a home sleep study. This box will include a Somno Touch box, which will record the sleep study overnight, a blue band connector, which will send the movement signals from the stretchy white bands to the Somno Touch, stretchy white bands, this will collect the movement from the chest and the waist, a finger or toe sensor probe, this will record the oxygen levels in the blood and the heart rate. Nasal prongs. This helps to look at breathing and snoring. This is very useful when analysing your child's sleep. And a camera. This will record your child overnight. Attaching the equipment. You do not need to turn on the Somno Touch. It turns on automatically at 7pm. This does not mean that your child will need to be in bed at this time. The equipment will start to record when placed on at their bedtime. Step 1. The stretchy white bands. Ensure the bands are placed over a thin vest or pyjama top, not directly on the skin. Refer to the pictures on the blue band connector to check which stretchy band is for the chest and which stretchy band is for the waist. Place the band with the Somno Touch attached and the picture of the chest around the upper chest under the armpits. And pop it together. Place the band, the picture of the waist around the belly button and pop it together. It is essential that the bands fit snugly. Make adjustments if needed whilst your child is standing or lying flat. If the bands are too loose or if you can fit more than two fingers underneath the band at your child's side, this is too loose. Then please pleat the band and add tape to tighten. Step 2, the blue band connector cable. Check that the blue connector cable is plugged in correctly in the Somno Touch. This would be in the top or the bottom. This would have previously been plugged in for you on collection of the equipment, but please check that it is in securely. Step 3, oxygen saturations probe. This is a white wired probe that is already plugged into the Somno Touch box on the right hand side. Peel the adhesive from the probe. If the length of the probe is long enough to reach your child's foot without pulling, place the sensor on your child's toe. If the child is tall, you may place the sensor on your child's ring finger. When placing the probe, ensure that the picture is on the nail bed and wrap around ensuring a secure fit. Step 4. Nasal prongs. Nasal prongs are screwed into the bottom left hand side of the Somno Touch. Position the prongs at the base of the nostril. Place tubing across the cheeks, around the top of the ears and secure under the chin with a slider on the tubing. Never place the prongs over the head. If your child finds that the prongs are uncomfortable, you can remove them and try to reapply once your child is asleep. Please attempt this a couple of times, but if your child will still not settle, it is okay not to use them. If you are not using them, please remove them from your child, unscrew from the Somno box and discard. Step five, camera setup. Connect the camera to the PowerPoint. You can use an extension lead if necessary. Check the light is illuminated, indicating that the video is receiving power. Place the camera in a suitable position, ideally so that your child is in full view. When the lights illuminate at the front of the camera, this will indicate that the camera is now recording. Please do not unplug at this time. The camera has an infrared light, therefore there is no need to leave a light on if your child does not normally have one on overnight. Setup is now complete. Important things to know and check. The machine is set up automatically to start recording. You do not need to press anything on the small Tom the Touch machine to get it started. If the effort bands are not correctly poppered on or clicked in place or the blue wire has come out of the Somno Touch, 
then a red light will flash on the bands, so you need to check the bells. Please check that there is not a flashing light on either of the bands. Children are often more restless at the start of their sleep. Therefore, please check all the equipment is still in place 15 to 13 minutes later and if you attend to them overnight. Thank you for watching our home sleep study setup guide. We hope you have a successful sleep study.